Hello everyone, Lois Frankel here. Hope you're safe and well. I'm here back in Washington, D.C. I just got sworn in for my fifth term as a United States Congresswoman. Just in our county alone, we literally need hundreds of thousands of more people to be vaccinated for us to get back to some kind of normality. I rise today in support of the American Rescue Plan. Uh, Madam Speaker, I have been Honored to be in public service uh, in my state legislature as mayor of West Palm Beach and now here in Congress. And I can unequivocally say that this is the most important, impactful piece of legislation I have ever had the honor to vote for. Horrendous year of stress, anxiety, and hardship for millions of Americans. And I am so happy to say that relief is on the way. Women's pocketbooks were hit the hardest during the COVID pandemic. Millions were forced out of work and they were back home doing what they needed to do, taking care of their loved ones. Reverend Spear, did you, did you realize that the average, the average salary for a childcare worker or a home care worker is about $27,000 a year. I, I'm, I'm coming at this whole situation, not as a politician, but as a, really a mother and a grandmother. And, and what we're looking and trying to do is take the stress off of the working families of America, lowering their costs, lowering their taxes, cable news and all that. And they say the Democrats are fighting and they're talking about the moderates and the progressives and the top lines and this. I just want everyone to know this. We're fighting, we're fighting for you. Okay, here we go again. Let's see, yesterday it was outlawing abortions in DC. Today it's the world. Maybe there's gonna be an amendment later today that will outlaw safe legal abortion on Mars. I'm waiting for that one. The decision of whether and if to become a parent is one of the most personal decisions a person can make. And it's a decision that should be between a patient and the people that they trust. I'm at the United States Supreme Court with lots and lots of people. I'm here today because it's a very big day here in the court. And a decision of whether or not uh, women will continue to have the freedom to decide their own reproductive destiny. On Monday, I was over at the White House with my colleagues and we watched President Biden sign the bipartisan infrastructure bill that's gonna modernize our roads and our bridges and our transit system all over the country, including, of course, our home state of Florida. 